All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you an alternate to the normal long division algorithm. It's called the explicit trade method. So let's get started. So we're gonna do 538 divided by four, and we're gonna connect it to a, a nice, beautiful visual representation over here. We're gonna use the dots. And so I wanna model 538. So there is my hundreds place, my tens place, and my ones place. And let's model 538. One, two, three, four, five is my five hundreds. Three in the tens place, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the ones place. So I've got my 538. Now, dividing by four means I want to create groups of four. I want to you know, create groups of four dots. And I can see I've got a group of four dots right there in my hundreds place. I'm going to start from the, the left side and I'm going to start with the hundreds and I'm going to work my way towards the ones place. And I have this one dot left over. So what am I going to do with that one le dot left over? Well, I can take that one dot left over and cash him in for uh, 10 tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this one big gets cashed in for 10 tens. Now let's create our groups of four. So I can create a group of four right there. I can create a group of four right there. I can create a group of four right there. And so let's just keep a running total. Uh, I was able to make one group of four in the hundreds column. I was able to make three groups of four in the tens column. And then again, I have that one dot left over. So what am I gonna do with it? Well, I'm gonna cash him in. So I'm gonna cash him in, so he's gonna go away because I'm cashing him in for 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that one big gives me 10 littles. All right, now let's make our groups of four. So there's a group of four, 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 and then, uh-oh, I have two left over. So I was able to make four groups of four in the ones place, but I have these two dots left over. What am I gonna do? I'm going to cash them in, which means I need to extend my table. Just one extra column. Technically, I could just continue adding columns as much as I need. I happen to know I only need to add one more column. And so we are going to do that exchange rate. Only this time, we're gonna exchange both of these dots. Changing, exchanging each one gives me 10. So I'm gonna exchange two dots and that's gonna give me 20 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm gonna do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So those two dots got cashed in for 10 each. So now I have 20. And now let's circle our groups of four. How many groups of four do we have? Well, there's a group of four. 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 And finally, there is our group of four. And we were able to make five groups of four in the tenths place. So our answer, is 134 and 5 tenths, 134.5, because that, that line of demarcation between the whole numbers and the tenths, that's where our decimal is. And so now we have the answer. Now that's the visual representation. Let's give you what does that look like using the explicit trade technique. All right, so I'm gonna to refer to our lived experience with a visual representation. So starting with our uh, hundreds, we had five hundreds. How many groups of four, how many four packs were we able to make? Well, we were able to make one four pack, so to speak. One group of four, 
means we used four dots and we had one little dot left over. Here's our one group of four and we had our one dot left over. And what did we do with that one dot left over? Well, we cashed him in. And so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cash him in and that's gonna give us 13 in the tens place. Cause look at this, here we go, oopsies. Here we go, look, we had 10 new ones because we cashed them in, plus the three existing ones, uh, three existing dots. And so that gave us 10 plus three is 13. There's, there we go. So now we have 13 tens. What did we do? Well, we were able to make three groups. If we have 13 dots and we need to make four packs, well, we were able to make three four packs. And that means we used up 12 dots, we subtract and we had one dot left over. And sure enough, there is the one dot left over. Here's our three groups. We used up 12 of them and we had one dot left over. Now, what did we do with that one dot left over? Well, we cashed him in for 10 ones. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cash him in and that's gonna give us 10 ones in addition to the eight ones that were already living there. So now we have 18 ones. We were able to make four groups because I could see them right here. One, two, three, four. And we had two left over. So we used up 16 and we had two dots left over. And then what did we do? with those two dots. Well, we cashed them into the tenths place right here. We cashed them into the tenths place. So here's our decimal and we cashed them in to make 20 in the tenths place. And how many four packs were we able to make? We were able to make five four packs with nothing left over and there's our answer, 134.5. So let's kind of just do that as a, a quickie uh, with just a regular old run-of-the-mill problem. So let's divide by uh, five. And let's do five into, oh, let's do 23.7. So there's our uh, number that we're going to divide into. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more space. There we go. So, can, there we go, can five, we have two in the tens place. Can we make any five packs with our, our two in the tens place? No, we can't. So, I'm gonna say we cannot make any five packs. <laughs> and so I'm gonna cash these two dots in and that's gonna end up giving me 23. Did I really have to do that? No, but I'm just really being explicit about the fact that these two in the tens place are being cashed in to end up giving me 23 in the ones place. Now I've got 23 dots and I'm making five packs. Well, that means I can make four five packs and that gives me three dots left over. What am I going to do with those three dots left over? I'm going to cash them in and each dot that we get, we have left over, gives us 10 dots cashed in into the next place value. <clears throat> so these three dots get cashed in, giving me 37 dots in the next column over. How many five packs can I make with those 37 dots? Well, I can make seven five packs and that gives me two dots left over. And I'm gonna cash those two dots in for 20 dots left over. Uh, and then how many five packs can I make with those 20 dots? Well, I can make four five packs and I have nothing left over, which means I'm done. So what is my answer? Well, there's my decimal place right there. So my answer is zero tens, four ones, seven tenths, and four hundredths. So my answer is four 
and 74 hundredths, or we could say 4.74, and there we go. And that is the, uh, that's the explicit trade uh, system for dividing rather than the standard algorithm. Uh, it connects to the dots, and uh, it's a really nice, super efficient, just as valid method as the long division method. So give the explicit trade method of division a try.